It's a team that will again look to chase purely because they'll be worried about batting first and losing too many early wickets. You know, because they've got some dashes at the top. I believe this new guy Charles uh, goes after the bowling. That's Chris Gale, but not the sort of you know traditional classy players. Uh, they've got Sarwan in the squad, which is I think an excellent move. But a team that's better off really batting second. Till these guys, you know become truly sort of solid, uh, consistent batsmen. West Indies batting is going to put pressure on their cricket and their bowling as well. So Chris Gale actually takes it upon himself, although he's a guy who can score even in 50 years cricket at a strike rate of 120, 130, just takes it upon himself to survive. And, um, you know, if they lose early wickets, then Chris Gale will, you know, try and just hang around there. But uh, a bit like India, I think they have a problem in the first 10, 15 overs in English conditions to just ensure they don't lose too many wickets and the match is over in the first 15 overs in the bat first. We keep talking about swing and seam, but another, another thing that happens in England is the ball doesn't skid on to you, you know, like it does on Indian pitches, even in Australia, South Africa. Uh, it just holds onto that pitch a bit longer and that makes all the difference so that's when you know technique comes uh, into play uh, playing the ball closer to your body you know comes into play being disciplined about you know not driving too wide uh, outside the off zone so and that's that's uh, a discipline a lot of teams don't have pakistan doesn't have it west indies also don't have it and that becomes then their big weakness You would see that bowling hasn't quite clicked uh, and haven't been able to get sides out. Uh, although, you know, when it comes to economy rate in the last 10 over, they've done reasonably well, uh, which is a little bit of a surprise because you'd like to think that their bowling is not so bad. You know, I, I rate Ravi Rampal quite highly and I think in those conditions, he'll, he'll be a handful. I've always liked Kimar Roach, you know, who gets the ball full and swings it as well for a West Indian fast bowler. Sunil Naren has to, you know, perhaps reinvent himself. Uh, people, the theories, you know, when uh, they've watched him in test matches, when batsmen are sort of defending him, uh, he is not that effective. Uh, again, I think uh, that can change if he starts bowling a lot fuller because what he does in T20 cricket is the short of length uh, bowling, which, uh, you know, is difficult to hit and that's how he gets his wickets. If he can get a bit fuller in 50 overs cricket and get the batsmen to play shots because uh, they try and just play out Sunil Narayan and that's where I think he'll start becoming a little more effective and then you know getting teams out in 50 overs then can become a little more sort of regular for West Indies. It's a dangerous team you know and there is some you know star value there as well and it's a, it's a lot better team than it was maybe four years back. So that's good news for West Indies cricket, but I still don't think it's one of the stronger contenders in this tournament.